Peace, hola chicos. Alright. Y'all gonna ride along with me today. Again. And um, yeah. I'm starting to like these ride along vlogs because they simple, they easy. I'm trying to test this thing. I got my phones propped up on the dash on the on the car. So if it falls, it falls. Okay. Boom. So anyway, I just left the 7 Eleven. I'm on these French vanilla cappuccinos, people. These things are the bomb. So, I put two things of uh, French vanilla creamer in there from 7 Eleven. Fill that cup up to the rim and keeps it moving. But anyway, um, hell y'all, it's like, I don't know, it gotta be about, about 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time in good old Virginia Beach, Virginia. And, uh, yeah, I'm just now leaving out to go pay a couple of bills. But I was watching my grandson earlier. Yeah, he's getting so big. Yeah, so, shout out to Josiah, who was a good grandbaby, because he was asleep the whole time. <laughs> oh, boy. And see what I'm saying? It fell. So, I was taking off. That's why I fell. But, whatever. It gets cut out. It was getting cut out. We're gonna prop it back up and keep it moving. So anyway, I'm gonna go to this ATM, get me some moolah, so I can go pay this bill. And um, but yeah, while you ride along with me, I'm just gonna run my mouth about this and that and the third. So first of all, let me put you on what I'm listening to now. Look, straight up and down, I'm old school, old school, and this is what I'm on right now. I'm on some Jodeci, y'all. Love me some Jodeci. What about Jodeci fans out? Shout out to Jodeci. Wish y'all was still out there doing y'all thing thing, but you know what? The music y'all put out there will last forever. Okay? Shout out to Jodeci. This is my joint. I'm going to start it over. So, anywho. Yeah. Shout out to Jodeci turn down a little bit so uh yeah so one of the first things i want to talk about is i was just watching my girls a chic uh 11 18 uh most recent videos and yes it was a rant and i love her rants because she keeps it real and she was talking about this online company based in uh i think it's china and it's called uh Bags Inc. I think that's what it's called, Bags Inc. And now uh, she's done a few reviews for them before, but this time around, uh, when it came around to doing this review, she went in on Bags Inc. And I'm so glad she did because I don't know if you guys seen my review on this online company. I think it's called Choice Choice. I don't know C H O I E S. What the hell ever. So I got a couple of pieces from Charles, um, and yeah, I wasn't happy with the the craftsmanship, nothing, whatever, on the pieces that I got. Now, first of all, let me backtrack. Uh, I asked to get a sample, to sample something out before I actually made the choice to buy something. They they basically said, uh, forget you, you're not uh, big enough uh, uh, social media person for us to waste our time with for you to um sample anything before you buy but you know what i still went on and i uh, bought something anyway because i ain't about getting that free stuff but like i said i just wanted to try it because it was overseas and whatever but i seen a lot of um vloggers on youtube uh do reviews and stuff for these um overseas companies in china so i said let me go ahead on and uh let me go ahead on and try it so I get it, didn't like it. And like I said in my video, I just think these uh, companies send these uh, these these huge vloggers the good shit. The good shit. That's what they do. The good shit. They send them the good shit so when they review it, that shit be looking like the bomb. The fabric is on point. The fabric is on point. The um... Everything. Just, it looks like what it looks like on the website and yeah and I think that's messed up 
and I and I said that in my video. I said I think they send the bigger YouTubers the good shit. Okay. And um, I think that's bullshit. So whatever. And whatever. So back to our Sheik eleven eighteen. She went in and basically she said the same thing. She said they send they send the YouTubers, the big vloggers, the real nice stuff that looks real pretty, and then that makes us want to go out there the consumer the non vloggers or whatever their fan i don't want to say fans their followers or whatever that really you know dig and respect uh, their opinions that makes us want to go out there and, and try the shit too so ironically she got something that she was uh was going to review for bags Inc. and I, anyway you got to go see the video but at the end of the day she went in on them and basically she said title of her video was fuck bags Inc. so y'all figure it out from there what ashika 1118 said she went in and wayne summers had his input on um just the overall general things about you know uh customer service respect loyalty all that sort of stuff so yeah went in boom and i'm so glad she did i'm glad uh, a well-known youtuber vlogger blogger went in and spoke the truth about some of this shit that be going on on YouTube. So anyway, fuck bags ain't. Hello. Boom. So anyway, next thing's next. Let's see if I can get this bad. There we go. If it falls, it falls. Oop, there it goes. It fell again. And okay, next thing's next. What am I talking about now? I'm talking about my face of the day. Um, I try to do foundation. I don't know if I'm crazy about it or not. You know, sometimes you just want to try something different because, you know, you need to switch up your... You need to switch things up every now and then. Because your face gets used to stuff and it don't look the same as when you first bought it. You'd be like, oh, it's a bomb, it's a bomb. So anyway, I got this L'Oreal True Match. And it's not the actual... The product feels good on my face and everything, but I don't think I got the right color but anyway um thank goodness I got it still got the receipt from Target you know the young lady was like if it doesn't uh, work color wise I could bring it back so I'm gonna try it a couple of more times and then I will make my decision if I need to go a shade darker because it is going on winter time and um I'm thinking the lighter shade is throwing me off because, you know, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know because everybody got their winter, their winter skin and their summer skin. So what do y'all think about this, um, about the complexion match? Now, I wouldn't say it's blendable, it's blendable, it's blendable. Um, I don't know, maybe the, the bathroom mirrors is playing tricks on me, I don't know. Gosh, y'all, I got these tired eyes. Look at these tired eyes. Oh, I hate tired eyes. So, anyway. But, yeah. So, what else I want to talk about? So, anyway, let me know what you think about this L'Oreal Street Match. And it's N78. That's the color. But, anyhow. Um, yeah, next thing I'm going to talk about is just life relationships whatever so i like my new job y'all i ain't gonna put out there what i do but the work i do is not easy work it's hard work it's hard physical really work but the day goes by because you know you, you work with cool people especially when you work with cool people so my thing is i work with cool people so now my my, uh, my partner he's a cool white boy shout out to my my partner <laughs> anyway, so um, he's married, has a beautiful daughter, and a cool wife, and me and him talk at work all the time. I like talking to him because I, it's nice to get a different perspective from a male's point of view on relationships and marriages and whatever, whatever, whatever. So, cool guy, whatever, whatever, whatever. But let me tell you about this, about the white boy. Now, y'all know I'm natural. Boom, been natural two years. He compliments me on my hair. He likes that natural shit. Now, here's my thing. I say this because my brothers out there, my my brothers of color, 
don't even compliment, okay? Don't even compliment. Hey, I don't know what's wrong now. Not everybody. I like my husband. He loves my natural hair. I think the nicest thing he said to me was, well, the most recent nicest thing he said to me was, because I was just trying to run out the house real quick and do something, and I didn't feel like taking my hair out, blah, blah, blah. So I, was, I slapped the wig on. He said, so you look so much better with your natural hair. And I melted. Okay? That was sweet. You know what I did? Took that raggedy ass wig off and, and uh, busted a, a hat. He was like, there you go. Boom. Alright. So, not all brothers. I'm not dissing all brothers. Okay? But, it's, it's very far few in between uh, black men that really compliment me on my natural hair. Like I said, I have Filipinos, I have Puerto Ricans, I had white boys compliment me on my hair. And it seems like they'd be more supportive of their other half or whatever uh, if they was with a uh, black woman with natural hair. Isn't that sad? Don't y'all think that shit is sad? I think that shit is real sad. That my own, my own people can't appreciate our natural shit. So anyway, and it's funny, cause men, I already rocked the hair in the natural state. Don't get it, but whatever. And um, but yeah, thought it was crazy. Whatever. But what do y'all think about that? I mean, I know that's been a conversation piece that's been going around social media for a while now. Anyway, <laughs> what else I want to talk about? I want to talk about. I'm still working on my cleaning house statement, y'all. Don't think I ain't forgot about it. Uh, I'm just bouncing around. I, sh I need to just be working on one segment at a time and focusing on that and then finishing it. But that ain't what I've been doing. I've been working on my makeup. I've been working on the, the closet. I've been working on... Uh, what was the other part? Like cleaning the house, the personal side. And, you know, just cutting people off and shit. So, yeah. But anyway... Now I'm stuck in traffic. The traffic ain't moving for me, baby. But, um, I don't know. It is what it is. Life is life. So, y'all need to tell me some stuff y'all want me to talk about. Because my life ain't that interesting. You know? Actually, it is, but I don't really share a lot of it. That damn vanilla, no French vanilla cappuccino, bananas, really good. Oh, let me tell you what's on my lip, y'all. I got the Vino Mac lip liner, and on top of it is a NYX butter lipstick. I don't even know the name of it. Shit, the bomb though. Y'all sleeping on NYX? Y'all better go ahead. And get that next fix. Because y'all really sleeping on it.